with this style, I'm starting off with freshly cleansed and conditioned hair. I used the sulfate free shampoo first, which was really awesome. It had great lather, but still left my hair feeling really soft and moisturized. And then I went in with the conditioner afterwards, and I was really pleasantly surprised because it had really great slip. And then also, both products smelled so good. I am like crazy about the scent. Next, I went in with the leave-in conditioner, and I really love this because not only does it smell amazing, but it also is super lightweight, which is what I want whenever I blow out my hair because I want to get that huge, big volume, and so this is great to prep my hair, uh, make sure it's moisturized before I go in with my heat styling. Then next, we'll be using the blow-dry cream or styling cream. And I really love this stuff. I've used Carol's Daughter's blow dry creams before and love them. And this one did not disappoint me at all. Again, it's super lightweight and moisturizing, but it's going to be great for taming the frizz that comes sometimes whenever I only blow out my hair. Since I'm not using extra heat with the second heat styling tool, I need to tame the frizz as much as possible with the first step of actually blowing it out. And this cream is going to give me the volume and body that I want without the dryness. Now I'm just going to section off my hair to make the blow drying process a little bit easier. You can section off your hair as, in as many sections as you like. I just usually do four or six, just depending on how I feel that day. Now that we're all sectioned out, we're going to go ahead and start blow drying. I'm going to speed up this process and then just cut it off. Um, I do have a video on my full blow dry process if you'd like to see that on my channel, but I'm not going to bore you with an entire video of me blow drying my hair. So I'm going to cut it off just slightly and then go on and show you the next step. <laughs> All right, so now that we're all blown out, and as you can see, my hair is incredibly lightweight still, even though we use two products in my hair, and I am loving it so far. I mean, my hair feels weightless, um, and I'm pretty pumped about it. So the last product we'll be using today is a smoothing serum and again like the rest of the products in this collection it is super lightweight. It smells great and is an oil that is definitely not sticky at all. I put about two pumps on each side of my head and so even with that my hair still feels really soft, shiny and sleek without that heaviness that you get with some oils. Now when it comes to sectioning off your hair for the flexi rods, I'm really not too particular on, you know, sizing and sectioning and things like that. But if you'd like to be more precise with it, by all means, go ahead. But I like to just make sure that my sections are a little bit thicker. Since my hair is finer in general, I have a lot of hair, but it is very fine in nature. I like to use bigger sections to give my hair more defined results, but still chunky results. I always put the largest flexi rods on the bottom. And what I'm doing first is I'm gonna twist the ends on there so that I can tuck them away and then actually twist the flexi rod around my hair instead of twisting my hair around the flexi rod, if that makes sense. So just go ahead and watch it a couple times. I will show you how I do this because it does change the way that your curls do come out, the way that you twist the flexi rod. So if you like my results, then try to do twist the flexi rods just like this.
I'm very impressed with this collection. A lot of words were used in multiple products such as strengthening, frizz fighting, um, conditioning, reduced breakage, and definitely all these products are doing those things. My hair still feels really soft and looks amazing, super shiny after using these products. And I'm just overall happy with the results. So. Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and until next time, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Thanks for watching.